What's new in PhotoFrame 4.5? Before we jump into it, let me explain what I've got. I just created a new canvas that was 8.5 by 11, just a letter size blank canvas, and then I just drug another image on top of it on its own layer. You can see it right here on top. Let's go ahead and head off to PhotoFrame, and I'll show you some of the great new stuff. New in PhotoFrame 4.5 are over 100 new design elements. Let me walk you through some of those. First, in the Guru category, there's a new guru, Kirsty Malvery, who's sharing with all of us that use PhotoFrame the amazing backgrounds that she's created for use inside of PhotoFrame. They include very rich, colored, real-world backgrounds, some with some built-in adornments. They're a perfect background, but placed behind images in a layout, they also make great texture overlays if you just change your blending mode. Now let's take a look inside of layouts. At the top is a brand new category of baby layouts. These are great for creating album or scrapbook pages that are focused on baby or toddlers. And you'll see there's several different layouts in both horizontal, vertical, and square orientations. All you do is add your image right in the middle. It could be easier. The Bohemian Collection features rich colors and modern patterns. They're great for children, but also very useful for families and high school seniors. Inside of the event category, there are new layouts designed for family events like the 4th of July, anniversaries, children's birth announcements, birthday cards, Easter, graduation, Halloween, and holidays. And the last new collection is Whimsy. Whimsy contains layouts that are also great for children which feature brighter, more pastel colors. And as always with layouts, all of the elements used to create these layouts can be found separately inside a photo frame as well. So all of the backgrounds, frames, and adornments you'll find in matching categories inside of the other areas. All right, let's get to work on the layout that we started. I'm going to show you a couple great new things in photo frame 4.5. First, let's go down to our composite backgrounds and let's add a background behind our image. Let's go ahead and use this one. I'm just going to select it and press Add to Frame. Now we're in the main photo frame workspace, and here's one of the coolest things in photo frame 4.5. Watch my frame stack right here. You can see our original image at the bottom and our background we add at the top. Now just like inside of Photoshop, I can now grab elements, backgrounds, or any element inside a photo frame, I can actually position it underneath my target layer. This allows me to create complete layouts inside a photo frame in a single step. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to tear the edge of this image so that it looks like it was more on torn paper. Let's just open up the library again and find an edge we want to use. I'm just going to use this one from Dave Cross. Now we're just going to move it so that it comes in and just touches the edge of our image. Don't worry about that white background quite yet. Now, go to the Options palette, and we're going to use another new feature. Right here in Options, we have the ability to apply the frame as a clipping mask. So when I select Apply as Clipping Mask, you'll now see how the white disappears, and it's torn the edge of our image. So when we hit Apply, this is going to go back to Photoshop. It's going to put this background underneath our target layer, and it's going to add this frame as a clipping mask. It's never been easier to create great-looking layouts like this, than with PhotoFrame 4.5. PhotoFrame 4.5 will be available in November of 2009. There are two versions. The standard edition is $159.95, and the professional edition, which includes hundreds of additional frames and presets from well-known photographers and Photoshop experts, is only $259.95. If you own a previous version of PhotoFrame, you're eligible for an upgrade. Check out ononesoftware.com for upgrade pricing.